Our program is our new intuitive training method that we use to train people on hard tasks and basic core tasks. This program, while it is new, it is very promising and we're hoping to expand outward to hopefully get more people creating content for devices like this so that we can have an Air Force wide library of maintenance training videos. It's not meant to replace hands-on maintenance training out on the flight line. It is meant to augment it, to help people get a better understanding. And with that better understanding, hopefully we'll be able to create better maintainers. As a tree level, we get provided the opportunity to hone our skills when we first get to our duty station. And this is one step forward to helping us achieve that. It's an evolution. It helps us improve every process, I am sure. There's a lot more to come for training and expediting the process of making competent maintainers. The 80th Flying Training Wing is set to take the Euro-NATO Joint Jet Pilot Training Program to new heights as it moves toward incorporating virtual and augmented reality technology into its training curriculum. After months of research, working with industry partners, and putting the right pieces together that made sense for the program, the 80th's two innovation labs are taking pilots virtually anywhere while keeping their feet on the ground. If you just think now taking the mixed reality capability uh, and putting it in a traditional cockpit with all the lights and switches that, you would, that you're going to expect to find in the real jet, uh, I think once you marry those two things together, I think you get really close to um, probably the best solution of a traditional simulator and, um, and a virtual one. The traditional sims do a great job doing emergency procedures and instrument procedures. I think, and there's n this is not intended to replace that. Um, where this uh, kind of surpasses and kind of complements that is in the visuals. To Briones, the combination of virtual and mixed realities and other traditional training tools is the future of training in the Air Force. He says it's creating new methods for airmen, whether it's pilot training or aircraft maintenance training, to learn and hone their craft moving forward. The cloud-based system makes learning mobile, he says, an on-demand, on-command type of platform that enables student pilots to practice wherever they are and whenever they want to. Lieutenant Colonel Jason Turner, the Wing's Director of Strategic Initiatives, says the technology speeds the learning of traditional content in a progressive format that builds a foundation of knowledge in a realistic and safe flying environment. That fact was seen when three Reserve Officer Training Corps cadets from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, who were visiting the Wing as part of their training curriculum, tried out the technology for the first time. The cadets, with limited exposure to the Innovation Lab, were able to take to the virtual skies and pick up on some of the fundamentals taught during the 55-week flying training program. Uh, these gentlemen have only spent probably about 30 minutes total in mixed reality over their last day and a half here. Uh, 
um, but judging from uh, their performance, I'm already seeing three out of four of them flying in close formation, which is usually a skill that students will develop over the course of their 55-week time in the NJEP program. And they're still learning, they're still developing it, but this also gives them a great place to practice where mistakes don't cost them their safety. The complementary pieces will, when put together, enhance the learning experience of students and instructors alike. Reporting for Shepherd Air Force Base, I'm John Engel. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments for the next best video.